sit down. Okay, I'm going to tell you something that I've only shared with like three people. This is a little secret that I've been doing on our videos that help us get thousands upon thousands more views. It is hands down the simplest way to dramatically increase your views on YouTube. Every time we do it on our videos, the video views skyrocket. It might seem a little bit unusual, but I promise you, it is insanely effective. I call it reverse content creation. But first, let's talk about why certain videos rack up views in the first place. The most significant factor determining how many views a video usually gets is the impressions click-through rate. It's the number you see right here. You see it on YouTube Studio, on mobile, in desktop. In super, super simple terms, a 10% impressions click-through rate means that out of everyone who saw your video, 10% actually clicked and watched it. So let's say that YouTube showed your video a thousand times on the platform and a hundred people clicked and watched it. Then your impressions click-through rate or CTR for short would be a respectable, respectable, is that how you say it? Respect, respectable, that sounds weird. 10%, okay? The higher this number, the more views your video usually receives. And you make this number bigger by crafting irresistible thumbnails and titles around topics that your audience finds interesting. Yeah, if you create amazing titles and thumbnails around video topics that nobody really wants to watch, you still won't get many views. Now, earlier I said that this is the most important metric when it comes to getting views. And listen, I know you've probably heard of the importance of retention and average view duration and smashing that like button. Oh, that's, there's no Riz. <laughs> However, those metrics only come into play after somebody decides to click and watch your video. Viewers decide to watch your video based on the title, thumbnail, and topic, and all of that is measured by click-through rate. Some of the most successful content on this channel had below average retention rates, but thanks to the high CTR, these videos still managed to get a ton of views. Usually content creators follow a familiar process. They come up with the topic, they create the content, and then they design the thumbnail and title they hope will get people to watch. Now, this process might seem completely logical, but I like to do it a little bit different. Reverse content creation is when you decide the title and thumbnail before creating the actual video content. If you don't believe the title and thumbnail will grab attention and earn a high click-through rate, you don't even bother making the video. This right here is going to keep you from investing a ton of time and energy into a video that might not even get views. I do reverse content creation all the time. I, I, I will sit here and go like, what is a video title that my audience would just be insanely interested in clicking on. So, you know, for example, the genius shortcut to getting 4,000 hours of watch time. That sounds like a great title, let's use it. And then I think about the thumbnail, like what would be a thumbnail that I could pair with that that would make the combination absolutely irresistible? Irresistible here. You want to get the highest click-through rate possible. So for a video like that, I'm thinking, you know, a phone mock-up of a graph showing insane YouTube performance results. Let's show it on screen because that's exactly the video that I created. And this is where it gets a little weird. I don't know what the topic for the video is yet, but now that I have the title, I have the thumbnail, now it's up to me to go like, hmm, what is a topic that I can talk about that would really work for a video like that. So in that video, I shared a insane tactic for getting more watch time on your videos using something I call the shortcut strategy. And that's what that video was about. That click through rate was insane. That video got a ton of views. And if you wanna watch that, you can watch that next because I, uh, I will link it at the end. <laughs> Another way that I do this is by finding inspiration. I saw this video on my homepage from a creator named Dan Co titled how to get ahead of 99% of people in six to 12 months. I absolutely love that title and thumbnail and I could tell by the views that other people found it extremely clickable. So I decided to remix it. Now, of course, Dan creates content in a completely different niche than us. So we had to change a few things to make it relevant to our viewers. I looked at the new packaging and said, okay, I need to make a video about how to get ahead of 99% of YouTubers in six to 12 months. Then I asked myself, well, what should this video be about? And that's what I created. You see, instead of creating a title and thumbnail for an existing video, you craft a video around a title and thumbnail you know is insanely clickable. Now you're creating content that you know will get views 
and set a content that you hope will get views. Yeah, that's my little secret that stays between us. That's just something that I do. I don't do it on every video, but when I need a video idea and I don't know what to create, I find inspiration. I come up with a banger title. I come up with a banger thumbnail and then I find a way to turn that into a video. I don't start with the idea for a video, make the video, then create the packaging that lives on the outside of that video that will hopefully get viewers to click. No, I start with the most clickable, the most important aspect, getting viewers into the video with a interesting title and thumbnail so I can get a insane click-through rates. And then I look at that title, that thumbnail, and go like, hmm, what video needs to live inside of that? And I tell you what, it works every time. I love you all. Keep creating. Peace. Now, hold up. Hold up. Hey, don't click off yet. Now, do not forget to subscribe. Please help us get to a million subscribers. I love you.